Let's have some fun. I hope you enjoyed that little step over the cat video. I enjoyed doing it and I came across a couple of hurdles along the way which I'll show you during this tutorial. But the first thing I did was I actually videoed myself stepping onto a green screen stool. It's just a little stool with a piece of green cloth on. And I thought that'll be great. I'll just be able to take that out in chroma key. So let me just get to the part that I need to start the video from. So as I walk in shot there, that will do round about there, say. So I will chop that first piece off. Now if you right click and do ripple delete, it deletes that piece of footage that you don't want and pushes the other footage right over to the start again. So that's great. I'll drag it across to where to step on it, come over and step out of frame. So again, I'll chop that and I'll delete the end by right clicking and delete or you can just press delete on your keyboard right so this is the bit of footage I want where I walk in I step on the stool then step back off and leave the frame now there was a little click sound there just as I stepped on the stool so I'm going to get shut of that and the easiest way to do that or the quickest way I've found is I'll just chop that there and then I'll reduce the volume by dragging it right the way down to naught. That click is now gone. Great, okay. So what I need to do is highlight these and put them on the second track really because I need to cut that green screen out and have something behind. And that's why before I start filming, I always do a, I think it's called a clear plate. It's basically just a bit of footage with nothing there so that I can use it should I need to as a background. And I do in this case so I shall drag that down and I shall just make that bigger right so now I want to get rid of this green little footstool and I thought great what I'll do is I'll go to video AI tools chroma key it's a proper green screen piece of cloth but for some reason it didn't take it out properly and I don't know why it just wouldn't do it properly and um, I played around with all the settings, the offsets, and just could not get it right. I've got a feeling that I mightn't have had, oh yeah, that's not too bad. I mightn't have had the correct lighting on it. So, I mean, it's not too bad, you know, it, it's okay, but I also needed to get shut of this as well. So what I ended up doing instead was going to mask, using a draw mask, and basically cutting all the way around, because don't forget, we've got that plate background behind. In fact, I'll just do this quick for now and then I'll sh show you what else I did later. And complete that. So there we go. We now need to invert that because it's showing this instead of showing the background. So there we go. We invert that. And I can move this down a bit. There's still a bit showing there. So this is what it now looks like. Now I've used the mask. That's a lot better. So it looked a lot better than using the green screen, so I'm happy with that at the moment. So now I've got the actual footage in. I need to add a cat. So I've got a subscription with Envato Elements and I found this green screen little kitten, which is lovely. <laughs> so I'm going to drag that down above the actual footage that I'm using. I can now use the green screen effect on this. So go to AI tools and chroma key. And that takes that out as you can see. Obviously too big. Also what I want to do is mute the color down slightly. Let's have a look at the brightness, change the brightness down. Right, don't worry about it disappearing at the moment because I can, uh, I can change that. Just mute the cat down a bit, okay. Let's go back to our chroma key and you can see there's some missing there. I can change that now by changing the tolerance. So let's get that back up like that. Okay, that looks okay. Way too big. So again, make sure you're on the green screen or the cat video and just shrink that right down. Let's say about there, I'll move it underneath me foot because I don't want to stand on the poor thing. Now let's go back to the beginning and see what that looks like. Actually, I noticed with this bit of green screen footage, the cat was moving. So what I'm going to do is 
I'm just going to cut that down until he stops moving. So he stops moving about there. I'll leave it there. I'll start the footage from there. I've chopped out the very first bit because it was moving for some strange reason. I don't know why. So let's see what that looks like. There we go. He looks up at me. I stand on him. <laughs> stand over him. And there we go. Okay, let's just shrink that down to match the rest of the size of the rest of the footage. I'll make this the full length now for the timeline so we can see what's going on. So again, let's just play that, see what happens. Come in. <laughs> so uh, there's a kitten little squeak in there as well. I added that and that was just an audio file uh, which I found under sound effects, I think it was, and it was cat01. So if you type in cat01, there it is. If you play that, you get a little squeak. So that's been added to the footage as well. Okay, let's go back and see what else we need to put in. We also need to put in now just the cat pairing. So I've got some cat pairing there that I downloaded again off Envato Elements. You might be able to find some under audio sound effects on Filmora. Kitten pairing. I couldn't find one that was suitable for me. Let me just try and type that in again. Uh, kitten meowing, cat pairing. Yes, there's, there's there's ones there that you can try and certainly use them. No problem at all. That's not bad. But I used the one that I found or I got from Envato Elements. And all you do is drag that down. Obviously put it on the audio track. And then let's just play that until we hear the cat make the little meowing sound. Right, just about... Just about there where the cat squeaks. What I want to do is I want to chop the cat pairing audio. I'll just shrink that down a touch now that I've cut it. Because I want that to end just before the cat goes meow. And then... <laughs> that was a terrible impression, that one. <laughs> and then... <laughs> that's tickled me, that, sorry. And then start again afterwards. So let me, <laughs> let me try that. Okay, I'll just again shrink that down. So you just let the cat go... Yeah, you know, what that funny noise it makes and then it'll start pairing again there we go so now there's the whole video in one let's just play that through mind the cat what mind the cat well done yeah. and there we have it a good little effect hope you enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to like subscribe and click on the notification bell it really does help my channel thanks for watching now go have some fun